sir. Would you like to buy this watermelon? No, no, no. Please, sir. I could really use the I money. Said no! Excuse me, ma'am. Would you like to buy this watermelon? You would really, really help me on that, miss. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have enough money and I still have to buy the groceries. I'd love to help you, but I really can't. Please, ma'am. I could really use the money to go back to my hometown. This is the only thing that I have to sell. Oh, I'm really sorry. I don't think I have enough money for my own groceries. I'm sorry. It's okay, ma'am. Have a beautiful day. Hello again, ma'am. How was your shopping? I was good, thank you. Hope you got everything you needed. Um, I really did, thank you. So you haven't sold the watermelon yet? No, ma'am. I guess this is not my lucky day. Well, do you remember that I told you that I didn't have enough money to help you? I spent less than I thought I would, so... I got some change for you. I know it's not much. But I hope it can help you. Ah, uh, thank you. It's not much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, thank you very much, ma'am. You are very kind. This will help me a lot, really. Great. Now I think I can buy the ticket to go back to my hometown. Oh, so you're not from around here? No, ma'am. I'm from the south. My whole family is waiting for me there. Oh, so you're very far away from home, huh? Well, I was looking for an opportunity to a job that I ended up quitting. Because my boss, you know... It was making my life impossible and I wasn't getting paid on time. Really? That's really wrong. That's illegal, you know? There was a lot of troubles. It was not what I thought it would. But I was doing this for my family. Now I just want to go back to them. Well, the money I gave you is not much, but it will help you. I know it will, for something. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Again. I know it's not much, but it will help. Yeah, ma'am. It will. It will. Thank you. You have a very big heart. You are very kind. This means everything for me. I'm really used to work. I like helping the people around here by doing things for them. I help them clean their shops, I carry their groceries for them, and they help me with food, change, and little by little, I'm saving money for the bus ticket that will get me back home. I hope you get back soon. So here, here's your watermelon, take it. No, no, I just gave you five dollars. Don't worry about the watermelon. Set it to a higher price, so you can get more money for it. The money I gave you was not for the watermelon. It was to help you. No, really, sell it to somebody else. Okay, what if we make a deal? How? We split it in half, and you take one side, and I keep the other half to sell it. Are you sure? Yeah, that way you can try it. I bet it's really sweet. Okay, let's do it, okay? Okay, great. Wait for me here, I'll get a knife to cut it. So, tell me, ma'am. What do you do for a living? I would like to know a little bit about you, if you don't mind, of course. Uh, well... I cook Mexican food. Oh, cool. So you have a restaurant? Uh, no, not anymore. Mm, how's that? Through this, I used to have a small business with my sisters. We had a Mexican restaurant. It wasn't very big and fancy, but people came a lot. We had a lot of customers. But, you know, the pandemic happened and we tried to hang in there, but it was really difficult. People stopped coming because of it. It was impossible for us to have a delivery service. And beside my sisters and I, we had two people that worked for us, and in the end, we couldn't afford their salary, so we had to let them go. Also, we didn't have enough money to pay for the ingredients, the meat, and the rent of the place. So, at the end, it was impossible for us to keep things going. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry. Yeah, I remember the pandemic was really difficult for everybody. It did really change the course of everyone's life. 
But I took it as a message from our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. He always has a reason for everything. God always provides a way to those who live in prayer. I know. And I, and I mean, we closed it for good. It was for the best. There were a lot of expenses. It was impossible. But what we eventually did was we started doing all the cooking in our own home. Little things, almost like snacks. And we used to sell door to door. But you know, I'm thankful because we got over it thanks to God. We don't have the restaurant anymore, but I have all my sisters with me. And my mother, she's old, but she never got sick and she still is healthy. That's what really matters, health and family. If you could wish for something, what would it be your biggest dream? Um, well, if I could ask for something, it would be to reopen the restaurant again with my sisters, I think. And what would it take to do that? Oh, <laughs> well, a lot of money. Money and a miracle. <laughs> uh, it's always difficult. We are here working and always hoping for the best. But if I could ask for something, it would definitely be to reopen the business with my family. Maybe so things could go well for us again. I know that if we reopen, our old clients will be there for us again. Have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, this is really tough. Yeah, I can see that. It's taking forever. And I think I'm cutting it wrong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That when life gives you a hundred reasons to break down and cry, show life that you have a million reasons to smile and laugh. Stay strong. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Maybe life will surprise you soon. You know, give me the small one so you can sell the bigger one. As I told you before. Okay, okay. Let's open it. What? What's... What's this? It's... What? Hmm. Well, this is your half. I think there's something in there. But... What could it be? Maybe life has a surprise for you. But what's the meaning of this? Okay. Let me explain. I wanted to give this to the first person that was willing to help me. I thought that it was going to be a lot easier and faster to find this person, but it was not. Until you came with your good will and heart. So you deserve this more than anyone. Proving that there are still good and kind people in this world. This is for you. What? I'm, I'm not getting this. This is yours, ma'am. All of this. All of this is yours. Everything. Everything. Take it. It's yours. Here, take everything. Here's more. But, but, I, uh, why? Because I, you have a good heart. Is this a joke? No, it isn't. It's all true. It is for but, you. And you know, but, I'm not just giving this to you. God is. No, no, but, but this is too much. I don't believe you. This is real. Everything is yours. But, really? Of course it's yours. You deserve it. You showed us that kind people are still out there in this world. People like you deserve everything because you're willing to help others without even knowing them. But this is a lot of money. Maybe you can start thinking about reopening the restaurant, right? Yeah, I believe we can do it with this. Yeah, yeah, we could do it. Yeah, you do that, please. I really think you can make it. This is not a joke, right? No, man. This is all for you. Enjoy it. Open the restaurant of your dreams with your family. But you deserve it. I, I can't believe this. Thank you very much. No, 
thanks to you, you're a good person and I hope you can get closer to your dreams. Thank you, really. How am I gonna pay you? Thank you, really. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. This is a gift. A gift from God. But this is too much. I cannot thank you enough. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. This is a gift. A gift from God. You already proved me that you, besides anyone, deserves this. Can I give you a hug? Of course, ma'am. <laughs>